His Excellency Nana Adudankwa Akufuado, the President of the Republic of Ghana and the Commander in Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, the Vice President, His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, Nana Num, we do acknowledge all the other dignitaries present here and do observe all protocol. On behalf of the family of the late Kwabna Kwache, I present to you the biography of our brother, son, nephew, uncle, and father. Martin Kwabna Kwache, Martin Kwabna Kwache, Martin Kwabna Kwache. Living for Christ and departing to be with him is my ultimate gain. Yet torn between the two, I am compelled to continue in the flesh, which means fruitful labor for me. But what shall I choose? I cannot decide. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. Philippians 1, 21 to 23. Early life and education of our brother, Kwabna Kwachi. Kwabna Kwachi was born on October 18, 1970, in Sechakwa He was the seventh child of eight born to the late of Martin Martin Kovnakwachi and Oba Apeyi Christiana Abinampra. He exhibited exceptional brilliance from an early age, attending Kwamai Presby Primary and early Presby Middle School in Sechakwa Continuing his educational journey, he pursued studies at Isutama Secondary School and later completed his lower and upper sixth level at Konongo Odumasi Secondary School. Subsequently, he embarked on his national service at Iberian International School, Sawaba, in Komasi, before gaining admission to the University of Ghana in 1993, where he pursued linguistics, residing in the Kuafu, precisely M. 27 room. Career highlights. Following his academic pursuit, Kwabna Kwachi collaborated with Professor Kwesi Yanka and Professor Kofi Ajekum, popularly known as Opeyi Ajekum, at the Department of Linguistics to develop an Anakam dictionary. His passion for radio broadcasting flourished during his tenure at Radio Universe alongside Openi and Yekum. Transitioning to Adam FM in Tema and later joining Kain City Media, popularly known as Oman FM, which he played a pivotal role in establishing with Honor Honorable Kennedy at Japan, Okumpenko, as the director of radio until his untimely Death. The flagship program, Boiling Point, aired on Tuesdays and Thursdays, showcasing his dedicated to the craft. Kwabna was also a hardworking and successful businessman. He was the director of multiple companies, including a documentary production, media buying and advertising company, which he operated for over 23 years. He also had a manufacturing company which manufactured and rendered disinfection services using hospital grade natural disinfectants. Additionally, he was also a proud rice, cocoa, cocoa, and livestock farmer. Kwabna's multifaceted expertise also enabled him to provide services in a range of sectors political involvement and activism. Kwabna Kwachi political engagement began early, aligning with the MPP and 
and contributing significantly to the party's endeavor. Renowned for his courage and honesty and commitment to factual discourse, he served as an advocate for the party's grassroots and played an instrumental role in revitalizing the student wing of MPP at UPSC. While serving as their patron, he was also a patron of the Shanti Student Union Wing at UPSC, exemplifying his dedication to nurturing future leaders. Faith and music, religious background. Kwabna was raised in the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. Kwabna Kwachi later joined the Resurrection Power and Ministry, Living Bread Ministries International at Kubabi, assuming various leadership roles within the church. And an accomplished musician, he mastered the lead guitar at 15 and later learned the brass guitar and piano under the tutelage of Mr. Prince. Bamfo from Osino. His passion for music extended to supporting church activities, including contributing to the procurement of musical instruments and performing at events. Family life. Kwamran Kwashi shared 24 years of matrimonial matrimony with his beloved wife, Mrs. Mercy Ekua Kwachi. And together they were blessed with four children. Emmanuel Fifi and Ponsa Kwachi, Magdalene Mpra Kwachi, Gloria Nana Bwatima Kwachi, and Martina Adua Kwachiwa Kwachi. He prioritized his family above all else, fostering unity among relatives and extending generosity to those in need. His legacy as a devoted family man, characterized by his infectious smile, sense of humor, Humility and honesty would endure beyond his passing. In bidding farewell to my dear uncle, Governor Kwachi of Pakeke, we find solace in the quality of his impact on those around him, transcending mere years lived. He remains eternally cherished in our heart. Thank you very much for listening. Oh, Nana Nom, a man penning and a video tree. Mina Nanom, Asheme, Yerikete, Sir Minka, Yukurumu, Kasa. The Saint is a pen of Dini Dima or Monamayo. I can kind of make in Kenichina, a Bushiane, a Yanom, a Naimu, and a Makin kind. Papa Quachi, Nema me. Abraham Pra and the Papa Kwachi, Yanko Pong, Eche Wong, Memu, Moche, Memami and Sa, and Madum, and Memanumuno, Onana, and Chatu, Ya, with Dimia Mijina, Echipe, and Ma Enum, and T. Yakaya and Abu Mano or Tosso, Mema, and me Papa Memu. Namia dum, Name papa, a woman penning four. Ya, one minna, Mamma, me a brempra, car ye boom, et a tay, and Tinia ye nipa dumian, sir, nipa dumian, son, or no, and an hour or tosso, a dumian, a way you move. A woman, sir, na, or ye, a bofra, a way you moody. Now so. Yanko Pong, a pigeano to say Barbara Moon Joseph. Emma, Obey, Shira, Cassia, Emma, Nuyamu, Enina. Nebata, Yenti, Edia, Nepapa, and the Ton, one Cassa, the Neton, Timmy Papetti, Martin, Pamela Pachi, no Tam Nina, no the Ton or so. Enti nama enu yano mi nina ano edi ane ata frano ye eja ena efienso ni ya ubi ya frano eni ye nina me mano di ye frano ye ofa 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 kwache na 
on peno ho me papa sem bia na yesu so nyina o ka kire en sa mi mpenire nire e kire sa wo ya de kase akura ya sa ne ya wo nya hwe sa su no e na ewura kwa chimu ya odi enyini me kai me bia ye nyina ye titi ye bo mu pa ye me papa ni ko ko afu o mu a e wa sa kire kwa man ne kura ye fre ho hurusie e ho e na ye na sani america no ye ye ne ye bo mu na na kwa chenso na opo ope ejuma ti otena kura ho fri class 3 a ko si se o wi e form 4 e ho na ne de bia o na oba school ko si se o wi e sa 7 kwa bra kwa che uni ano a se se e na mo anwem comfort ye ntua ye ntua kwa che mata kwa che oscar ya o bo a che tachi Alice Abna Nyanta, Grace Akosia Kwachiwa, Benjamin Yawatin, Janet Ya Intijima, Emmanuel Kofia J, Anne Kachre Rose Yabuadu Amponsa, Yebeka Yawada Kwabna, Edia Naminimsa, Nemfafu Anene Kolegon. Ah, woman in the war, Legon M27, a queer for all. A dear no means of friend of any dollar man. And yeah, just say, uh, obey woman from watch the woman. To ye, who do you know say? Nan to ye, who cousins, daughters of glory of Jesus. Any and we are not in a sick from now. Yamau, nan to ye, nan to. Jojo, amen. I had first finished school and was working as an operator at a communication center located in the new market, Abekan La Paz. We were two ladies who ran either the morning or afternoon shift. KK, as I affectionately called him, was always the last person to make a call. As the days went by, I noticed he was timing his visits to the center to ensure I was the one working the afternoon shift just so he can come in late, keep me company, watch me close the center, and then got the opportunity to walk me home. I also realized very quickly that he had an agenda. I had developed my own agenda too because the man was affable, gentle, and well-mannered. We became friends and over six months, and in May 1999, he proposed the question, Will you marry me? Of course. I accepted his proposal without hesitation because he was such a fine gentleman and a pleasant person to be around. I felt deep inside me that I had found my soulmate. I loved him to bits and I still do. As a young woman, I always prayed for one quality in the future husband and that was a man who feared God. The most attractive thing about my dearest husband was that the fact that he was a devoted Christian and feared God. He took me to Resurrection Power and Living Bread Ministries International and introduced me to the Prayer Tower group. My darling Kwabna taught me so much about God and Christianity. And until his last breath, the love of, for God and the deep-seated dedication to the work of the kingdom carried us through our marriage. We are blessed with four children, our son, Fifi Kwache, and our three adorable daughters, Mamin Pra, Batima, and Martha. My dearest husband made time for us. The weekends were for us and us only. He was very honest, faithful, and a dedicated father and husband. His no was no, and his yes was yes. In the early stages of our marriage, when God started blessing us with children, he ensured I had enough sleep at night whilst he took care of the baby. He will always say, Ikwa, sleep, and I will take care of everything. He did this without fail for all our four children. Our relationship hasn't been without challenges, and in mid-1999, before we married, I fell very sick 
it was a serious and strange sickness that threatened our relationship. I thought it would he would discontinue our relationship at the time and was deeply worried. However, I was focused, I was always focused on the deep love we shared for each other and knew we would sail through thick and thin. And truly, I was right. He stood by me and God being so good, I was healed. The love and bond became stronger and stronger till we tied the knot in December 2000. How he spent his life. My Martin that we mourn today spent his life always serving people with whatever God blessed him with. My Martin was a special and exceptional man by any stretch of your imagination. Since his passing, I have heard stories of his benevolence that he never told me. He cared for everyone that he came across. He was happy to see others happy. I have heard the testimonies from His Excellency, the President of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Ekufu Adu. I have also heard the testimonies from the Vice President, His Excellency, Dr. Mahmoud Bahunia. I have heard testimonies from people I never met or knew they even existed. The widows, the orphans, the several others who looked up to you, who will fill this huge vacuum and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus, Philippians 4, 19. We shouldn't despair because God knows best. And even though I am heartbroken just as you are, the good Lord will give us strength. My heart will go on and your heart will go on too. Hobbies, can I read my husband's tribute without talking about his love for politics? the new patriotic party and Arsenal football club. Majority of us gather here today to mourn his passing, listened and watch him on Oman platforms. I am sure you would have given better testimonies than I can because you listened and watched him every day. He engaged the movers and shakers of our dear country every day. If the stature of a man is to be determined by who you have in your contact list, my husband, would have been up there. He engaged anyone and everyone, never mind your political affiliation or inclination. He loved Arsenal Football Club, and it is the only time I ever thought or felt someone was sharing my husband with me. Never mind the troubles and failures of that football club. My husband was a dedicated supporter, I guess is the reason he is so patient. My governor was a brave man a strong man, a generous man, a selfless man, a peaceful man who always wanted peace amongst people, a truthful person. It's extremely hard for Kabna to lie or compromise for the wrong reasons. For him, a spade is always a spade. My treasure, my love, my husband, my father, my uncle, my elder brother, my good friend and my advisor. Rest well, my darling Kabna Kwachi. My love for you will remain with me until my final day on this earth. I have become a better human being because of you. I have grown to know and love God better because of you. I have grown to love and care for others better because of you. You can never be replaced. The pain is very deep and fresh on my mind and in my heart. And I pray the good Lord gives me the strength to carry on without you. My heart is broken because you are going to be with your maker. But I know the greater one who lives in me and with me shall provide and strengthen for me, Fifi, Mamimpra, Guatima, Martina, and all those who look up to you to carry on with our lives. You constantly refer to Romans 8.31, and I read, if God be for us, who can be against us? And Psalm 91, 1 to 2. He who dwells in the secret places of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. These two Bible quotations became our family favorite. And even though you are gone, we will hold on to them. Darling, the moment you left me, my heart split in two. One side was filled with memories of you and I. The other side died with you. Often, I lay awake at night, 
when the world is fast asleep and take a walk down memory lane with tears running down my cheeks. Sometimes I choke on the tears and scream. KK, remembering you is easy, as I do it every single day. But missing you is a heartache that never goes away. I miss all of you, my love. I hold you tightly in my heart, and there you will remain forever. Life will go on, but it will never be the same without you. Fare thee well, my Dofupa. Fare thee well, my Kiki. Fare thee well, my best half. God be with you, and may your soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. sharing us up in our pursuits or reminding us to pray and stay strong 
he was always there, putting our needs before his own. His dedication to his family and his faith was unwavering and he showed in everything that he did. Reflecting on our father's life, we are reminded of the countless ways he touched our hearts, from teaching us important life lessons to sharing his passion for music and sports. Daddy's presence brought joy to our lives. His memory will forever be cherished as a source of comfort and inspiration. Words cannot describe how much we love you, Daddy. And though we miss you dearly, we take solace in knowing that you are resting peacefully in the arms of our Heavenly Father. Your legacy of love, kindness, and faith will continue to guide us as we navigate life's journey. Until we meet again, Daddy, rest well. Your spirit lives in our hearts always and will carry your memory with us. With love and gratitude, we say goodbye for now. Se se die ye ma honam ni nsansa yare ene awututuo ene honam ye obi ani ye moso di entia adanse ye heba ointment e di ya se mama ye se ye sisi yare awututuo honam ye o ya de biara me kire general body pain se die wadro e ye adanse ye heba ointment chloro se e yam pimples e cro pompo ana honam ni nsa yare bia no ko ne ko pe adanse ye heba ointment ne betu ase ye amwa ye kama pa e se honam ye o no mpem Ana e chimu how biano na afe o how bia woni padie na ni so na yi firi ona woni padie na tin atoso kama o betim dia ye unku a obesra e be bo ho ba ye firi honam ni nsansa yare ho na ma o no mpemu so aye den kai se adanse ye heba ointment doctor ousu e chawo ye bonem na ne se e bibidro mu okunene e na dro o ye o ye e o gana ba bi bia to bibidro bia o kwa so pa adanse ye heba ointment sa so na wona wona landed ha ana europe anyira ha wo america ana se country bia so wo wiase ya wo benya a dance here, Heba Ointment. Our eBay and as Amazon. We're meeting your friend 0740300544. Oh, Freya, yeah, the dance here, Heba Ointment. Ebe, bro. Can you say eBay and Amazon? Hey, a dance here, Heba Ointment. Now, your website, you know, hey, www.dracheonheba.com. Email and see ousu root 19.co.uk. And as we're meeting your friend 0249. Nine zero one 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 five. And now zero five four one three seven zero one eight six. Na be bia wo bia ya de be brow. A dance ye heba ointment. Food and Drugs Authority Ghana. Ajia tum. Sasu enem peninfo wo krim su. Aman krate bia ye timi de paha. Eba beton an hon e masem. En tina wo man hon naman in san yare. An hon tutuo. Eni hon nam ye o bia anye o moso. A dance ye heba ointment. A doctor o usu e chan heba center. Ye bwane mbanane se ebibi drum wo kunini. Ayye no. Jack usu be jina so pinting. Yeah. <sighs>